Welcome to Cisco Training Videos. My name is Trevor. I'm going to be your instructor for this video series. The topic for this video is going to go in depth into the different types of questions that exist on the CCNA certification. Let's begin. So naturally, before we can talk about the different types of questions that exist on the CCNA exam, let's talk about what you need to do once you're done studying and you're ready to take this thing. <laughs> so here I have a little silly picture of you at the testing center. Your first step is going to be simply call the testing center. You need to schedule a test date and a time. You're also going to give them your credit card number at this point so that you can prepay for the certification exam. If you fail to reschedule within 24 hours typically or you just don't show up, you will be charged for the exam and it's non-refundable. So make sure you talk to the testing center about the fine details regarding that. Once the morning of your exam comes around, make sure you eat a good breakfast and make sure you get plenty of rest. I've taken tests where I forgot to eat breakfast and the whole time I'm regretting it. My stomach's growling, it's difficult to concentrate. Don't make my mistake. Make sure you, you take the time to eat a good breakfast because it really will influence how you perform on your exam. Also make sure that you map out where you're going and you arrive early. There's nothing worse than getting to your exam a moment before you're supposed to take it you're, and, and you just go into the exam being stressed out. You want to go in being calm and relaxed because that's going to be the best way you're going to perform well on this exam. Also make sure that you use the restroom beforehand because this is a timed exam and there's no way to pause the time. If you need to get up to use the restroom, you're going to be penalized because that clock is going to be ticking down the whole time you're gone. My favorite recommendation is create a personal cram sheet that has all the different types of facts and syntax and, and things that you've ever had issues with throughout your studying journey. That way you can read this right before you go into your exam. It can be nice and fresh on your mind and you won't have any issues with this. And of course, right before you press go to start that exam, take a deep breath calm yourself down, relax, remember all the hard work and dedication you've put towards the certification, all the studying and time and sacrifices you've made. You got this. Be confident in yourself and go with your gut. It's always your first instinct. Okay, so now that we got that intro out of the way, let's now talk about the different style questions you're going to see on the CCNA certification. Here's a list that I compiled of the different types of questions that exist. So the first two types of questions are just simply multiple choice questions. There's going to be a question stated in front of you and you'll have multiple answers that you can choose from. Whether it's a single answer or a multiple choice answer, the exam is going to have software built into it that will prevent you and alert you from selecting too many choices. Here's a quick tip. Whenever you see the answer choices and it's a little circle radial button, that's indicating that it's a single answer choice required. Whenever you see a square next to the answer choices, that's showing you that multiple answers need to be selected for this question. Now testlet style questions are a little bit different. What they are is you'll have probably a graphic or some type of image that you'll be troubleshooting and there's going to be multiple questions relying on that single image and all of the questions will be relating to different trouble points in potentially the troubleshooting scenario. These questions are kind of dangerous though because if you accidentally skip it by pressing the next button, you're going to be marked wrong and penalized for multiple questions even though it was just one skip. So be very careful here whenever you see these. Make sure you answer, answer all choices. The next style question is a drag and drop. A drag and drop is a simple GUI that's going to pop up on the screen and it's going to say something along the lines of select the correct answer on the left side of the screen and drag it over to the appropriate place on the right side of the screen. So an example of a drag and drop question could be something along the lines of uh, the OSI model. Please place the correct order of the layers from highest to lowest and then you'll select them from the left side and drag them over to the right side. It's important to note though, a lot of times in drag and drops, they like to give you a lot more answer choices than there are spots for the answers. You are allowed to move the answer choices around. It's only final when you click the next button and you move on to the next question. The last two style questions are probably the most intimidating questions to most new certification testers. The simulated lab questions and the simulate questions. Uh, these are my personal favorite. Honestly, if you study and prepare enough, there's nothing intimidating about these. This is just simply showing Cisco that you know what you're doing and you're confident in making changes and configuring objectives. An example of a simulated lab could be something along the lines of uh, troubleshooting a static route on two routers. So you, you may see something like there's two Cisco routers, they're directly connected with a crossover, and then those routers are directly connected to a switch with a straight through, and then the switches are directly connected to hosts with another straight through cable. So the question is saying, 
I have host A that's all the way on the left, and he cannot ping host B all the way on the right. And the problem is, the static routes on the two routers are not configured correctly. So your objective is to log into the routers and figure out what the problem is and then correct it. So what this does is it gives Cisco something that they can actually see what you're doing, how you troubleshoot it, and see whether you get the syntax correct or not. And, and, and you have to fix it. You have to make it so that the hosts can ping each other by the end of the lab. So that's just an example. And the last style question is simulate, which is very similar to a simulated lab, except it's a little bit more in depth. This type of question is also going to include a, like a multiple choice answer, as well as you logging into a simulated device and troubleshooting the network to see if something's wrong and, and what you would need to do in order to fix it. So let's say, for example, you have a, a, an infrastructure full of routers, and they're not configured correctly to use EIGRP. So your objective is to use different type of show commands to figure out where the problem is and how you would fix it. And that's what those multiple choice questions would be answering. Or let's say you had a lot of switches that were all interconnected, and spanning tree was not working on those switches. You would then, at that point, log into each switch and do your show commands and troubleshoot and figure out where your election process is happening and who's going to be the root Root switch and what the the bridge IDs are going to be things like that maybe like BPDU guard is set on one of the switches and it's breaking it or or who knows like that that's what it, it's all a, a mystery until you get to the exam so uh, y the whole point of this though is to show Cisco that you're confident and you know what to do in a simulated environment and that's it that's all there is to it to passing the CCNA certification <laughs> yeah right I wish it was that easy make sure you watch all of my CCNA training videos that I have in this series if you're not ready for the exam yet, don't worry about it. It's okay, we'll get there. Uh, I'm going to help you throughout this series and get you to where you need to be so that you can be confident and pass the Cisco certification and do well in job interviews. So keep keep an eye out for the new videos coming out. Uh, here's a little picture of me as I pass my CCNA. <laughs> I got my little mohawk and my CCNA cert in my hand. Woohoo! So uh, if you are ready though, congratulations, good luck. I hope you do well on your exam. If you have any questions whatsoever before you take your exam, please leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.